Hey guys, um, my name is Shelby Casper, and the topic that I was given was uh, women dress, the burqa, the hijab, chador, and leggings. Um, I think fashion is all around us, and it is very clear as to why people wear what they do due to religious standards or even just for their particular interest in the style. Uh, this diagram shows different um, styles that these women choose to wear. Um, it is unclear whether or not um, these women are forced to wear these in Pakistan or if it is due to the religion and their choice. Um, the burqa is often worn in the Middle East. Uh, it has complete coverage over the eyes and the body. Um, women have the choice to wear it but feel pressure from a spouse or an expectation from society or culture to wear such extreme outfits and attires. Um, there have been statements that have been made that their husbands are forcing their wives to wear these um, outfits through abuse in the name of their interpretation of the Quran. Most women would not admit to this and um, say that it's religious reasons, but I think it's often because they're abused and forced into wearing them. Um, women have been arrested for um, not following this kind of dress code. However, the Quran does not say specifically whether or not women um, must wear such extreme attires. Um, there have been talk about banning the burqa in Australia because they think that it dulls the view of women. Uh, obviously, the women who live here feel that they are taking away their um, natural rights for expressing their religion. Uh, the hijab means to cover or to veil. Uh, most women wear this in Australia and um, wear it to demonstrate their modesty and respect for their body. And they also feel that it is a commandment of God to um, wear the hijab. Uh, the hijab covers the head, neck, chest, and back. Islam uh, made it essential for women to wear this and to cover their entire cover their body, not their entire body. Um, Muslims in France are uh, prohibited from the coverage of the head and have been seen to be punished if they are doing so. Um, France made it a uh, security issue by banning the Muslim women from wearing the hijab. Um, Europe is afraid that if Muslim women were to wear the hijab, then it would be it would ruin their marketing for their women fashion that they have. Um, Western Muslims do not agree with this propaganda and are fighting against it, but um, those in the East are starting to agree with the statements that have been made. Um, the chador is um, often you would see this worn in Iran. Uh, the chador is a large piece of fabric that is draped over the head and um, down to the floor. Um, and it also is held together by holding the fabric together at the base of the neck. Um, they wear black when they're in public, but um, are allowed to wear multiple colors at home uh, with fa close family or if they're attending a mosque. Most women wear the chador for religious reasons and um, to represent that they're Muslim and demonstrate to those around them that they uh, follow teachings of Muslims. Uh, leggings. These are not the typical leggings that we would see in the U.S., but um, they're loose pants worn under the traditional dress and is often worn as a casual outfit. Um, I think that we can see a lot of similarities between our religion and theirs with um, how modest we are and how modest they are. Uh, clearly, these women are not given the full right to choose what they wear and how they would wear it, but... Um, I think that we are blessed to be able to wear what we want. Those are my work side. Thanks.